I wanted to make a video as to why the swastika is now off limits. Uh, the swastika, which is the universal symbol of, uh, well, national socialism, is also the universal symbol of a lot of other things. Uh, currently, I'm on a three-day ban from Facebook for posting a swastika a few months ago. However, this swastika was not a, not, uh, quote, Nazi swastika. It was an indigenous swastika. If I remember correctly, it was uh, from the Navajo, uh, but the Navajo people. And I posted it as a means of celebration of the unification of the whites, indigenous, and Hispanic people into a greater America, hence my Pan-American fascism idea. Uh, unfortunately, the swastika has been so twisted and tormented <laughs> and demonized by uh, specific groups, white liberal groups, uh, Jewish groups, pro-Israeli groups, anti-fascist groups, etc., that the swastika has not only lost all meaning as a symbol of, uh, well, of the sun, which is what it is, and of numerous people throughout the world, including the Hindus, Buddhists, Sikhs, and literally it's the symbol of indigenous America. The swastika was used by every group of indigenous people in the Americas from all the way from uh, Alaska and the Aleutian Islands all the way to all the way to Argentina. <laughs> Uh, everybody used the swastika in indigenous America. Many simplistic symbols, such as swastikas, crosses, uh, all sorts of good stuff, uh, pentagrams, etc., are indeed universally used. They don't really have any meaning except for the people they have meaning to. Uh, the swastika to me is just a bunch of lines. It don't mean crap to me. Uh, but what is important is who it does have meaning to, which are the indigenous people of the Americas, which are the Hindus, which are the Buddhists, which are the Sikhs, and which unfortunately also happen to be the anti-fascists, Jews, Zionists, etc., who have turned it into a symbol of hatred. Uh, obviously, National Socialism did not use the swastika because it was a symbol of hate. Uh, National Socialism, again, was greatly influenced by esoteric Buddhism and esoteric Hinduism, both of which are greatly, uh, they're, they're big time users of the swastika. Even the Romani people, the gypsies used the swastika. But what's important to understand is we, as the third positionist community, uh, National Socialists, Fascists, Justicialists, etc., uh, need to quit using the swastika. Uh, as it has become a liability. It's become an easy thing to point to and say, they use a swastika, it's a symbol of hatred. They are haters, they hate everybody. When obviously, uh, I wouldn't say the, major the majority of us, true third positionists, are not hateful at all. However, there are many hangers on to our movements that are haters. And we must distance ourselves from these people, these people that are full of hate, that do promote hate and things like that. And the best way we can do that is to uh, get, rid of the, get rid of our use of the swastika and other symbols that are considered symbols of hate, uh, such as the SS runes and things of that nature. I recommend replacing these things with um, patriotic symbols, symbols of our countries, uh, symbols of, uh, of the unification of the Americas. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, but the problem, again, uh, we need to stop using symbols that are so easy to point to. And don't, don't mistake me, I'm sure that symbols of, unif of the unification of the Americas into an American Imperium will eventually be considered uh, hatred, symbols of hatred, because after all, nothing says hatred like the unification of the indigenous and Caucasian people of the Americas into a greater America, because after all, uh, opposing, opposing liberalism, degeneracy, communism, and all this other crap, that's really what these people are against. That's why they are calling us haters and hateful, hateful people. But we cannot fall into their trap and we need to continue to promote what we promote.